Final thoughts from Nebraska's 88-72 win over Purdue here on this court that was stormed. How about a court storm in Lincoln? That was fun. Um, first win against an AP number one team since February 2nd, 1982. First win over a number one team in Lincoln since December 12th, 1964. Pretty fun environment to be in. Wasn't a full house, but the crowd was electric and alive the entire game. How about electric and alive? Well, Rink Mast had a heck of a game. He was awesome. He had 18 points, only four rebounds, but defensively he did what he could against Zach Eady, the nation's number one player, held him to 15 total points. And Nebraska really shot the ball extremely well. And for the game, they were 14 of 23 from three. Um, that will do it every single time. There were also 29 of 57 from the field and 16 of 19 for 84% from uh, the, the charity stripe. Bryce Williams had himself a heck of a game. He didn't score a ton, and that was okay. He didn't practice the last two days, hurt his, hurt his foot uh, in Madison, late in the game in Madison against Wisconsin, but he had four or nine total points and 11 rebounds and nine assists. That is a heck of a game. Kind of the lead guard when Jamarcus went out, I liked him a little bit. Also, kind of if you remember Derek Walker last year, uh, Coach Hoiberg said this in post game that Rink was the point man a little bit, brought the ball up, maybe forced Edia, trying to do that to force Edia away from the basket. Speaking of rink mass again, he was two of five from three, such a threat. The two threes were big, especially the first one of the game. He stepped out, hit a big three, and it was on from there. The crowd was alive. Coach Hoiberg said he loved their effort and energy tonight. All eight players that played had a significant impact in the game. Josiah Alec hit a big corner three late. C.J. Wilcher was fantastic. It was three of four from three, four of five in the game. Had 16 points, four guys in double figures. Jawan Gary had 12 points and five rebounds. The one thing of note, turnovers. Turnovers, Nebraska only had nine. That was terrific. Purdue had 14. Uh, nine total steals for Nebraska. That was something that Coach Hoiberg mentioned after – uh, reviewing the tape and the film of Wisconsin about how they needed more deflections, they needed more energy on defense, and they got it today. Um, they were they were fired up. I mean, they were their their rotations were on point. Rotations were great. Uh, a lot quicker, a lot faster, a little bit better than what we saw in Madison. Also, high hands. Rink Mass had high hands, and when the double came, the double came quick in the post. Purdue didn't wasn't able to drop anyone to the front of the rim double flood it, um, do all those things that, that uh, we, we saw Wisconsin do and Indiana do against Nebraska. So the defensive adjustment was huge. Um, great game in Lincoln. That's about all I can say. Quick turnaround. Coach Hoiberg said at the beginning of or toward, in the middle of the press conference here that, you know, you got to celebrate this win tonight and flush it, kind of move on. Nebraska travels to Iowa on Friday in another big game. So you got to find a way to win on the road in the league. It's really hard to do. Obviously produced two losses on the road Northwestern and here in Lincoln tonight. So Nebraska plays next in Iowa City Friday night. Late game, late tip, 8.30 p.m. because Iowa-Nebraska wrestling is at 6.30, both on BTN.